I am aware of the Salmon Run. I played some Salmon Run for the, uh, the random weapon stuff. So there's a little audio crust happening here. I think it's gone now. Chad, have you seen my locker recently? Let me just get there real quick. Wait, wasn't the- the spicy weapons are over now? Instant H3 nozzle... nose user. Single player will happen. I know inevitably a chat member will join and be like, Vinny, it says single player in the title. You know... Choom, you remind me a lot of my own locker when I was younger. Minus the impressive soda can cock. Thank you, Keanu. Just do a little bit of, um, just to warm up and to enjoy, of course. We always gotta start with the match or two. And see if my skills have improved. You know what, though, chat? You have to see some of the. The fucking score. I've been getting like eight kills, seven kills. You wouldn't believe it based on my splat pest performance. But boy. I've been doing okay. <laughs> I. I don't think I've played on this map very much. Ah. Uh. Vinny, that's Pearl and Marina singing. There are chat members that know all of the singers and all of the lore. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's cool. I just hear gargling, but, you know... God. Yep, it's definitely stream performance anxiety. Of course it is. You know, Choom, you remind me a lot of myself. Minus. The, uh... Splatoon. Damn it. That's all right.
vintage, vintage why you no go ranked. Vinny, do you think being splatted hurts? Yeah, it, well, it, it hurts on the inside. Pretty upset at myself right about now. Number one popular target. Chat, does that absolve me of my failures? Uh, wait, how do you go ranked anyway? Oh, this stuff? Um... Yeah! Alright. I do that once in a while. I'm not great at it. I'm also trying to get this weapon to level 4. That's my current goal, so I'm not using any other weapons until I get the level 4 rank on this one. Gray Leno singing voice? No, no, no. No. Net coat. Thoughts on the la on the latest Terraria update, the final final update. It is like old Rockstar's final farewell performance, and then twenty years later, you have another final farewell performance. The final tour. That's why I don't know if Roger Waters, who's been saying some bizarre stuff lately, and just you know whether or not he is being a weirdo on purpose or he's saying things that he knows will be taken out of context I don't know but the dude is definitely getting himself into some weird trouble however there was one thing that made me laugh which was that picture of the creator of the golden years of Pink Floyd is on his first farewell tour is that a joke like I think it's supposed to be funny because when you say you're on your first farewell tour, that is... That's so dumb, it has to be a joke. Like, he knows, right? He has to know, because otherwise... I don't know. I mean, that's also a great way to make some extra money, is to go on a farewell tour, because then people will get the fear of missing out, and then they'll go watch, you know, they'll watch the show. I like this music. Man. No, nice number, at least. I mean, it is just a bunch of hollering in Gargle, but... It's good gargling, you know? Yep. side.
I love getting enough hits to kill someone except one hit. That's my favorite way to play Splatoon, is to get... Like, always get real close to killing someone and then not. I mean splatting, splatting. This is Bappy Games, remember. Sweaty Bappy Game. Oh, that's a bad time to run out of ink! As in, help. available. Shit. Overtime! failed a little bit. That's okay. Just a little bit of failure. Yeah. None of them painted the spawn point. <laughs> yeah. Gonna do another regular battle. Again, sticking with this weapon. I like it. I could definitely learn other weapons, and I might enjoy that, but this is the one I've been doing the best with. If you can believe it. This one runs out of ink fast. It does. And you can see how many times it gets me killed. map again. Great. Bin Laden. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. you about cringe let me tell you about cringe <laughs> I 
swear to god, this is the most map there is of all the maps. There's so much inking to be done. Bad plays. Where'd you come from? I keep- that keeps happening. You know, it's- again, you wouldn't believe that I was getting eight kills by this gameplay, but... Yeah. Just- it's Bin Laden's fault. And Bush. Sorry, mate, can't defend you. I'm busy dying. <laughs> I hope that was enough. They inked their base a little bit better, but oh, okay, no, 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 we, we did just fine. We did just fine. Whoa, that was a huge catalog. Oh, first one of the day. I get it. I can do one more, chat. I know you're here for single player, some of you, because you saw it in the title. Or hero mode, or story mode, or... What other cool names are there for uh, single player, chat? Bin Laden and Boshi hanging out in the... Campaign mode, solo mode. Career mode. Depeche mode. Your self time. It would be lovely to try a different map and not this one, because I don't know how much I like this map. Sure is running out of ink in here. Ink saver on this weapon. I- yeah, I really need to figure out how to, like, do the things. Like, so that you can improve your weapons and, and like, get the stuff that you want. I know it involves talking to some weirdo, and, uh... I haven't been able to do that because I- I just- I've been too lazy, I guess. 
That and also the fact that you have to, like, buy several of the same item. To, uh, get enough slots. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure all that out. Well, that's not true. I've, I've made barely any attempt to do so. Take that. I'll just I'll just think your base a little bit. Oh my god, we got inked so much harder. We got inked in the base so hard. So the point of this game is to spread your goo everywhere, yeah. We're gonna do one more. One more to level up the catalog. I see you, Newt. I see you, Dem. Vinny, you said one more last time. You sound like an addict. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> what you're talking about, man. Listen, one more. One more. It's this map again. Man, even just three maps per rotation would be so much better. I know there are those that would defend the current status quo and say, no, 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 it's perfect as is. And that's fine. However... If you have a rotation of two maps you don't particularly care for... Not fun. This is not the best base inking weapon, but I'm making do. You ever think how weird the statement make do is? Rotten. Just rotten.
Oh, that was crap time! Oh well, yeah, it kind of is Halloween colors, isn't it? Yeah, not my best gameplay. don't think we won that one. All right. All right, chat. <clears throat> yeah, no. No, no, no. Bad matches. Bad matches. <laughs> we'll do single player now. For those worried about the neon signs, um, I just wanted to give a quick update. Onage made a tweet about it. And um, they are... The neon signs we are expecting any day now, they were just going through customs clearance. Thank you everyone for being patient. So, you know, people have been contacting me and trying to figure out what the hell's going on, and they don't even have them yet. So just give them a little bit more of a chance, and hopefully in the next couple days, they'll get them. And then you can get your sign. I hope. I got mine a while back, because they had to, like, make a sample, and I got that. So, I mean, it, it, it is good product. But... Now we wait for the rest to arrive. So goddamn expensive. The 96 gal. I gotta check that out. Dark Tetra Dooleys. Um. Need my shirt. Larry the Lobster. It would be nice if companies emailed us instead of posting on Twitters. Yeah, I don't disagree with that, chat member. I'm missing a scroll on the fourth island. Now, is this the balloon one? Or which one is this, chat? No. Also, for those wondering about spoopy things at, um, for October, because it is now spooky season, and uh, Halloween is practically here. But I'm going to try to like mix it up a little bit, and tomorrow I'm going to try to do something in the Spooptober spirit. For example. I know, time goes by quick, because it feels like last Spooptober just ended, but...
No, I mean, I have a bunch of stuff. I'm definitely... I'm open to suggestions, and there is a big Phasmophobia update, and I find Phasmophobia to be one of the very best. But, yeah, not... Um... Not just the stuff that you'd expect, but also some weird ones, like some weird... Maybe stuff that you haven't heard of. Where's Small Fry going? Try Silent Hill 3. Mate, I have. Finny, you are on Island 3. Oh yeah, well, I'll be damned. I don't think I want to do Silent Hill 4, chat. I think I'm good with Silent Hill 3 being the last one I play. People are saying 3 was the last good one, 4 was the last good one. Saul was the last Goodman. Whatever. I don't know. I just, I've... Like, seen Silent Hill 4 in some context, and it definitely seems to me like it's something that would be... It would be hit or miss. I know that they repeat... Uh, some of the game towards the end of it. One year after expanding his business into a new region, bombarding the Splatlands with over two, sorry, 20,000 hours of rapid-fire weapons chatter, his steel scopes are aimed at a new horizon. What's next for the so-called Arsenal Ambassador? Then he just play four, it's good. Well, that solves that then. We will bully you into doing it. Chat member, come on. I'm a person and my name is Anakin. Vin just played Just Dance 4, it's good. I mean, that's the real scary stuff. Oh, um... So, Chad, that was the last scroll on this island, right? Any other scroll is on next island? will tell you if all scrolls have been found for that area. I see. I'm just looking. Just goofing. Okay, we got a bunch more stuff to do here. Mike and uh, Josh from Red Letter Media did a thing on Creep Show. Which is a Halloween favorite of mine. I think it still holds up to watch. 
even though it's very, very 80s, especially the one with Leslie uh, Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. The only thing that I would say about Creepshow as a movie is that Creepshow 2 is not good. But there's the scene where that um, water monster, the trash can in the lake, like, eats them. Eats like a bunch of, you know, I don't know, teenagers, or I guess they're like actors in their 30s playing teenagers, of course. It's like just a trash bag, but it's supposed to be like a goo monster. And um, I've said this before on stream, but I'll tell you again. Creepshow 1 is great. I really do love that movie. Great anthology movie. Creepshow 2 is shit, but that one thing I saw as a kid... ...and it made me afraid of lakes and water in particular. I was like, oh no. I'm gonna get eaten. It's gonna drag me through the dock. It's like a disturbing thing that little, little me just did not like. Watching that movie again years later, I'm like, yeah, this is not that great, is it? And the special effects was so bad. Oh, it was so bad, but I didn't know because I was, I was a kid and special effects... It was just like, oh, it's, it's real. This is real. One thousand. Why did I unlock that? Let's see what other green areas? There's plenty of green areas. There's shit all over here. at the new episodes of Beavis and Butthead. Like, this whole season has been really great. But there were... <laughs> I, I loved that show. <laughs> they, they were fucking... They were fucking the worst role models of anyone in history. Yeah, it's back. It was, there was a new season, and it was actually really good. I mean, maybe I like it more than some people would, but I think it's exactly what the season needed to be. And it was... There were times where I could not stop laughing out loud at how, like, how funny some of the uh, scenarios were. And even if Beavis just says a word wrong, I'm laughing. Maybe someone knows, but there was um, some music video by some kid where they riffed on it like they would, like, the music videos back in the day. Does anyone know what song that was? Bernardo. It was something. There was something in an episode where they were, like... They were riffing on, on this music video, and it was like a child doing a pop song. And, um... They were on fire. It was un... It was unbelievable. And then they made fun of this tattoo show on MTV. Even though they are made by MTV. Like, that's the production company. I was like, oh good. I didn't know such a show existed, but Snooki had something to do with it. Essentially, the show is... Um, I guess it's a, a couple... ...go on the show, and they basically give each other tattoos. Like, they tell the tattoo artist, Okay, here's what your tattoo is gonna be. And then they do it, and then they reveal it. And Beavis and Butthead just... Yeah, they just, uh... Because they don't just watch music videos now, they also watch... ...whatever YouTube shit is happening, or just some random stuff. And 
it's it's nice to see them make fun of that. No, Mike Judge is just I don't I don't think he missed really anything. I think the dude has always been solid. High stakes target practice. That's right, those boys, Beaver and Buff Coat. So anyway, I just really like those last couple episodes. I don't know if the season is done, but I'm at the point now where I really, really hope they they're picked up for another season because I feel like some of the they're doing some of the best episodes that the show has ever had. And that just never happens with reboots. I mean, I guess it could, but it for me, I haven't really seen it happen very much, if at all. Let's see if I can do this level now. Yeah, the ASMR reaction one was pretty good. Oh, fuck. Well, didn't see that. Oh, they start you back at the beginning. Well, I wanted to ask chat about reboots. I wanted to see if chat knew of reboots that were actually better than the original or as good, but not right now. Hold that thought. Can't read chat. Oh my god. No, 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 it's good. It's good. Well, someone said The Thing was a good reboot. Well, I, I would argue that's a... Yeah, that's a remake. I meant, like... Well, I guess that works. I guess that works. Well, there's another one, too. I forget what the other one was. I think Carpenter did another one that was like a remake of an older one. Okay. Mm. 
But I guess I kind of meant like bringing back a series with the same actors and, you know, all these years later, like X-Files coming back, for example, which had its, its good points and its low points. Star Trek Picard being the best of ever. There's a chat member that said, just switch the weapon. Just switch the weapon, trust me. It took them 30 minutes and they still failed, so... Or maybe they succeeded. I, I will probably switch the weapon, but I'm gonna try one more time. The Munsters. Oh yeah, the Munsters I hear is incredible. <laughs> Someone said, I did it with the bow, but it took me an hour. Okay. If it took you an hour and you're a pro, random chat member, I'm assuming you are. You. If you could do that. Then yeah, it'll take me two hours, so I'll probably just switch the weapon. That wasn't the last one, was it? We'll see what the blaster's like. Are we sure the blaster is that much easier? Pool of insanity, yes. Okay, dead center. 
Gotta get it dead center. Sounds like a Left for Dead map. It is? Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, the bow would have kind of probably sucked for that last one in particular. Vinny, fuck you, this took me like four hours. I mean, you did see my Mario 64 speed run, right? The slide? That, to this day, I still do not know if that was actually something that was impossible to do. I think it's pretty clear that while I did do the slide pretty well, Mario turning backwards was the point of contention, and that very, very easily was uh, could have been the Chaos Edition. Vinny, I'm a beta tester, and I never beat that level. I begged them not to release it, but they did anyways. Are you allowed to say that in chat? Chat member? Frying out here in Scorch Gorge in more ways than one. Sweaty shell, biking trip. Twitch streamer Vinny Vine Sauce did the Mario 64 slide in a way that no human could. Ooh! That's the noise. They play the clip. It was like any other Sunday stream. And Vinny was playing Mario 64 Chaos Edition. Suddenly, Ultra Instinct kicked in and Vinny Vine Sauce was able to beat the record and unlock a new speedrun technique for simple flips. Yeah, I was just playing my game as usual and you know I was uh, talking to chat not even paying attention and I, I did the tool assisted speed run and then I hit my cock with a hammer in VR of course in VR he hit his cock with a hammer and that's what makes him such a professional gamer Back to the war in Ukraine. Like, seriously, don't they have better things to talk about? I'm, I'm fine with a little entertainment fluff piece. That was nice. But, I mean... You know what? We do need entertainment fluff pieces, though, every now and then. Because how fucking depressing. Like, I found the people that I know that watch the news constantly. It really is a constant barrage of garbage. Not that the garbage isn't real. There is real garbage. And you can be aware of this stuff without having... You know, so much information or without people telling you to panic or without you feeling like you need to panic. 
This is my own personal opinion. I could be wrong, but I've seen family members and friends, like, become extra, extra miserable. Because they're just stuck watching the news all the time, and it's like... I just kind of feel bad. But they're conditioned to do so because... Without the news, they're not informed. And they need to be informed. Yeah, the 24-hour news cycle is just... It's, it's a lot. It's a, just a lot of trauma. It's a lot of negativity for one human to absorb all the time. And I have people that don't even watch movies or, you know, TV shows or entertainment anymore. They're just, just uh, news. They need to know because they're human and the news is important for humans. So they'll watch all the time. As they grow, crustaceans such as the coconut crab frequently shed their shells to allow for further growth. Because strong sunlight encourages this shedding behavior, this may explain why Spotland's crustaceans often grow to be far larger than their counterparts in other regions. I see. I mean, you do you. Whatever you need to watch or whatever you like is... is fine, but my advice, and I've told, you know, my family that is addicted to the news, like, just... Try a little less. Try, like, focusing on, on good things that make you happy, that make you feel a little bit more joy. And then watch a little less news, and then watch the news when, when you, you know, after you've, um, had enough of nice things. I mean, they don't do it because the, the way things are done right now with the news cycle, it's, it's like... It's done in... It's done in a way that it makes you feel like you need to keep watching, which is great for them and their advertisers. But yeah, a little fluff piece about some dumb trombone game featuring some dumbass. I think that's fine. Once in a while. And the game is funny. I mean, the Trombone Champ game... It delivers on a couple different levels. And I think it's, um... Fairly well... I think the success of that game is fairly well deserved. There's some nice production value. There's baboons. There's, um... You know, the gameplay is is not anything groundbreaking, but it, it leads to the funnies. And it is playable, like, you get better at it as you go along. So it's not like you can't work at it and, you know, get better to the point where you can get the high scores. So yeah, I think it, it really is a nice combination of silly, playable, fuck up. So yeah, I, what I'm trying to say is Trombone Champ is good. That's some horse shit. Tell you what. All rhythm games are about score hunting. Yeah, when I played Rock Band, I mean, even Rock Smith with the real guitar, which I liked quite a bit. Now they're doing a subscription service, but I, I've considered checking it out just to, like, boost my chops. It's a weird sentence, but yeah. Oh. That and also just learn some new songs. It's just fun to know the songs so you can just whip them out at any, at any moment. <laughs> Did I not do the thing? Chat? Chatsworth? 
How long until he notices, chat? Notices what? <gasps> see it. Then I got five episodes into House of Dragons. I'm on board, it's good. Yeah, it's it's not bad. It is not bad, Dave. It still has my attention. I know it's not the greatest thing ever. It just Let's make sure a chat member knows if there's a chat member out there. Like, Finny, I watched it and it sucked shit. It doesn't- I don't think it sucked shit, but I think it's- it's, it's pretty- pretty good is my review of House of, of Dragons. So I'm- I'm, uh, I'm gonna continue watching it. bunch of readings from the top of that weird building over there. It's gonna be Gramps. Come on, Agent 3, let's go. Missed two levels, did I? Where in, in, um... Here? Oh, I, I still have to read the lore. You're correct, chat member. Two levels near the pipe. I'll be damned. Oh, it's the good music. You know what, chat? When I see that green arrow, my brain processes that as I completed the level already. I wish this song didn't get stuck in my head. But I hear it, and it gets stuck in my head. And I can't get it out of my head for hours. And here I am spending, like, hours writing lyrics to my songs. I think I can manage that. <laughs> I 
do like this weapon. I want to try this out in uh, in multiplayer. I don't know if I'd be any good with it, but it's fun to use. Shit. Any tips for songwriting? I'm good on melodies, but suck at lyrics. Hey, me too. No, um, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm getting better at lyrics. I used to just not give too much of a fuck. Now I, I kind of, I kind of care a little bit. Um, don't force it, I guess, is my only advice. Just have fun. <laughs> just, that's it, just have fun. I don't know, man, everyone has a different process. Some people start with lyrics. So, my, my advice is just let the, the music di dictate. <laughs> let them dick you down. Let the music dictate the lyrics. Like, let the the melody that you come up with, like, the syllables, turn into some sentences that you then maybe turn into a topic, which you then work on. It sounds like a bunch of, of fooey and horseshit, but I've learned some of the stuff I've learned from, like, some of my favorite musicians, and a lot of it is just intangible stuff. So... But, you know, be honest, but don't be too honest, because then you become Ed Sheeran and sell 15 million records a day. So, y you gotta be careful there. And then if you're not honest at all, then you become... I don't know, whoever, I don't even know, and then you sell 15 million records a day. So just, just... You know, be careful. Don't fall into those traps, either. But you can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, some of my favorite songs are about absolute fucking nonsense. And some of my other favorite songs are about whatever. Like, Shine On You Crazy Diamond, I f that polyphonic video was fantastic. And that's like a tribute to Sid Barrett. And that's... It's honest... And... Yet, it doesn't come across as, like, overly... sappy. I think it's just perfect. Scoot the Burbs changed my life. Oh, thanks. Zipping over the neighborhood. Direct Spider-Man reference. Mom, I want Spider-Man video game on the PS5. Honey, we have Spider-Man at home. I mean, I'll say one more thing. If you're asking me for lyric advice, just keep in mind that love love such an ugly five-letter word. And also keep in mind that at one point, the Blood Bagel album was going to be released under a pseudonym band. That band was going to be Masturbation, Frustration, and the Fictitious Nipple. Why? Because I thought it was a funny title. So be really careful who you ask for lyric writing advice. but I think that's why they asked you. Oh, in that case, go crazy, go nuts. Get a pen in your hand and act like you're doing an exorcism on that paper, and then you'll write the best shit you've ever written.
very satisfying. Someone said instructions unclear. I wrote the Bible. Do you think anyone's ever written the Bible in their dreams? Do you think in Splatland there's like a squid Bible? Well, I guess there are scrolls. There's one in the later lore entries. Ah. There was a Squid Bible page in Splatoon 2. Have you heard the good news about Squeeze's crew? Squeeze's crust? As the inner walls of Alterna collapsed, thousands of tons of rock and liquid crystal plunged into the waters below. As these crystals washed to and fro among the flotsam and jetsam of humanity's former colony, they broke into microscopic fragments. Because they had repeatedly absorbed and reflected humanity's wishes over so many years, the crystals retained those feelings. Little by little, the squids, octopuses, and assorted sea creatures that thrived in the waters of Alterna absorbed these crystals into their bodies. But this process continued until, one day, the marine organisms began to feel something. Something fresh. These fresh impulses bore a striking resemblance to humanity's passive desire to return to Earth's surface. Spurred by these impulses and whatever else may have been floating in the polluted waters, the sea creatures began to evolve rapidly. Each species developed pulmonary respiration, mobility, and other traits consistent with land-dwelling creatures. They began to adapt. Their intelligence grew at a remarkable pace across generations. Some species even gained extraordinary camouflage capabilities. A point of no return arrived. The sea creatures of Alterna set foot on dry land and never looked back. Like humans, they strove for the surface. Of course, survival on land was harsh, but the creatures were persistent. Soon they found the tunnels that humans had used to escape the apocalypse. With their path forward now clear, these fresh, fledgling fledgling beings left the ruins of Alterna behind and set their sights on the surface world. That's a great piece of photographic evidence at the bottom there. It's kind of amazing that we're getting all of this. Like, I know Nintendo likes to keep their post-apocalyptic stuff, I can speak words, um, a little bit more vague. But we're just, like, straight up getting informations. We're being furnished with every informations. I have no warp point available. Oh, it's right there. It's 
I'm still missing a scroll. Shit. We'll go back for it. Bet you missed us. What do you think the final boss is going to be? Um... I don't... Uh, a human? I don't know, something... Mammalian, because that was, like, kind of the... Wasn't that the thing? The whole impetus? I'm not looking at chat. I don't want confirmation. The impetus. Squalter, put your ink away, Squalter. It's me, Mike. All right, if we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight now. Squalter. Boy, that was embarrassing. Man, this fog brings me back to the good old days back back in my day when the game was the game like Turok and Superman 64 at least with Silent Hill the fog made a lot of sense the fog added to the atmosphere Chat, this is embarrassing.
Oh, there we go. Now I can get access to that. Okay, so this one was... Get sensor marks nearby items and enemies when you're submerged, and suit recovery up. That would have been, like, really helpful a, a moment ago. So, okay, we didn't finish the conversation earlier. I, I really wanted to get some of chat's opinions on what the best reboot of all time is. Based on the criteria that I'd set. Blade Runner 2049. Uh, yes. From movies, yes. Cobra Kai, I hear, yeah, that was good. Don't say Picard, how dare you. Futurama? Well, which one? A sequel and not a reboot. I guess, yeah, I guess you would just call it a sequel then. Oh, the Twin Peaks re um, sequel, or whatever. The most recent season, yeah, I've heard really good things about that. Dune? I wouldn't count Dune because my criteria were like, it's got to be years later with the same kind of cast and maybe even the same behind the scenes to a degree. Set in the same like kind of world as the thing from before. So maybe like, you know, 10, 20 years later, that kind of thing. Like, okay. This thing is old, but we could write a new thing and maybe make some money from it. Which is, you know, probably the worst starting point for any creative endeavor, but that's usually where it starts. Samurai Jack revival was good for the most part. Okay, that's good. Rise of Skywalker best film. DuckTales 2017. Okay, so there are some. DMC5. I don't know if I was counting video games or talking about them specifically, but that's... DMC5 is great. Evil Dead was pretty good. I felt like Evil Dead got pretty far away from the tone of the original. But it was a good movie in its own right. I mean, it, it had its campiness. But it's just a good movie. If you want to do video games, yeah, Doom. Doom 2016. But yeah, how about TV shows, chat? Specifically TV shows. Like, again, The X-Files I thought was pretty good. It brought back Mulder and Scully. It was like the classic dynamic. It was only a couple episodes for a couple seasons. But it was brought back years later. And they tried to like kind of start where they left off. And there was some... Not great stuff. Some like, oh god, why are we even doing this again? Some like, are we trying a little too hard? And then some, wow, this is really good. Especially the, the episodes, the comedy episodes. Clone Wars. Oh yeah, yeah, Clone Wars got a new season that people liked.
Ash vs. Evil Dead. That was good. Ooh! Star Trek TNG. I will allow it. I will allow that answer. Not a reboot, but a sequel to a thing from 20 years prior. And with a new cast. It is kind of a reboot, if you think about it. They're rebooting Star Trek. They started it over with a different cast. It's kind of a reboot. And then in the first episode, they had McCoy. So there's like a direct lineage. I, you know what? Say what you want about it if we're talking about movies as well. Force Awakens was a... I, we've done this topic to death and back, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. Force Awakens was a pretty decent start to what could have been a cool trilogy. Yes, it was a remake in a way of Episode 4. It didn't really have a whole lot of original ideas, a couple. Kylo Ren being the most compelling part, but... I'll be damned if in the theater I wasn't really excited for, like, what could come next. And it felt like watching a Star Wars movie. And now, in retrospect, I have a hard time watching it, but... For its time, I was really happy with it. I was like, shit, this is, this is pretty good. I can't wait for it to get better! I watched uh, the first episode of Andor when Dave was here. And you know what? It is joyless. <laughs> it is serious. This is only the first episode. It feels almost nothing like Star Wars. And it's pretty good. It's supposed to be serious, correct. And I was like, you know what sucks? Something like this, just using the world of Star Wars as a backdrop for, like, a drama... ...is a really cool thing to do. Where you're not, like, remember Jabba the Hutt? Remember ATSTs? Remember Luke Skywalker? Remember Baby Yaddle? Remember Kiati Mundi? Remember Yaddle? Remember Glup Shido? Which is fine. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that if it's done... If it's done well, and that's what they want to tell as a story. But it's interesting to see a Star Wars, um... Disney thing not be that. I was like, wait a minute. Who took this risk? Who allowed this? So I do plan on watching more of it, but at the moment, yeah, it is a very slow start. And it is really kind of dark and serious. But it's nice for a change. And the si there's actual, like, camera angles and almost, like, an attempt at cinematography. Even in that weird LED volume that they use, I was like, wow! It feels like a show. But the problem is, people are saying it doesn't feel like Star Wars, and they're right. And I think less people are gonna watch this than the Obi-Wan show. Which that sends the signal to Disney, don't make any more shit like this. Give the Jabba Jabba Hut Jabba Hut backstories show. Show a teenage Lando gamble for six episodes. Child Boba Hut. <laughs> it's Boba Boba Fett and Jabba the Hut's child. You don't know they didn't have a child while Boba was working for Jabba. We, we don't know how huts reproduce. Some of you probably do. So, I really hope that... 
the show continues to be like a TV show and continues to do something really um, different because I liked that first episode well enough. I was like, it was a long night. I was tired, but I remember thinking to myself, yeah, I'm down. Diego Luna is good. Like, I actually think he's, he's a very good actor. And, um, seeing him actually have stuff to work with is great. And there's like a kind of a cold-blooded murder, like, in the very beginning, and it's not played for yucks. And it's actually, like, there's consequences of the murder. And that's kind of what sets up the story, and I like that. It's like, oh, right. Like, in Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad, these small events end up having, like, ripples, much like real life, where, you know, things have consequences. Now, Star Wars is a fun universe, and I love the fun of it, but the idea that, you know, you watch some of these, these Star Wars things, Disney Star Wars especially, and yes, prequels too, and I do like the prequels for their campiness, of course, but just people getting wiped out by the thousands. So it's nice to watch a show that actually has maybe a little bit of a, uh, a direct consequence for a murder. I was, like, shocked by that. Like, what the fuck? So, maybe it'll be good, chat. I mean, I'm enjoying it to a degree. I'll, I'll continue watching it. No show this year will be as good as the rehearsal, though. Like, Nathan Fielder had the best show of the year. Some video I saw pop up in my on my YouTube. It was "What is Nathan Fielder?" That was the name of the video. I don't know who made the, the video. I haven't seen it yet, but I made a mental note to watch that. It's an hour long, and it's just "What is Nathan Fielder?" And it's like, oh shit! I kind of super eye patch wolf. There you go. I kind of want to know who, what he is. Okay, so this is the boss. We don't want to do this yet. Well, I don't want to do this yet. It's not the end game boss yet. How much more of there is this? Is there enough for another stream? Maybe one more. Ending is long? Okay. Close to a good stopping point. And then there's explicit point of no return. Okay. Because, I mean, whatever happens next time, I could also supplement it with multiplayer. Like, I'm not... I wouldn't say I'm addicted to this game necessarily, but I've been playing it a lot more than most games. I've been playing it a lot more than I would play most games that I'm streaming also. Let's put it that way. 
this and slice and dice have taken over my life. Slime Rancher, I would have played a little bit more of, but seeing as how it's not finished yet and there's a lot of stuff that's, that's not in the game yet, I just kind of stopped playing that. I like that little unexpected chord change. I also like when the, the synths form like a, a nice major chord. It's like, man. That's great. Go fuck yourself, game. Ah, huh? Bang that meat. Well, that sucked. That wasn't the game's fault at all. That was my fault, completely. Yep. I'm really, um, really happy about that. Really, really happy about that. Fucking Proteus hit 1.0. I want to play that. Um, I want to play Wandering Village at some point. I, there's a couple other ones that I have that I haven't got a chance to play yet. And I looked at my inventory. I'm like, oh, right. There's that. <sighs> I just keep walking off the fucking level. I forget what else there was too. There was there was other stuff. I know that I'm probably not making the game easier for myself by speaking about random stuff while playing, but I also get a little bored, so especially if I'm doing the same part several times. But uh yeah, walking off the ledge is, is really my specialty. Like Sith Lords. Like, also, a lot of indie developers reach out to me and ask me if I can showcase their game. And, uh, some of it looks good. And I just have to pick and choose the stuff that I end up playing, and then I forget about the stuff that I am asked to play. And some of it looks kind of, like, hit or miss, and like I've said before, I'm, like, always a little afraid to play the hit or miss looking ones and then not like it. Like, I'm sure the Boneworks people can handle me saying that I'm not crazy about their game. It's a $40 game. It's almost got AAA development. Like, it, obviously it doesn't, but I'm sure they're doing just fine. But someone who just made their first or second game ever, I'd feel a little bit bad about kind of shitting on it, so. But this is also a repeat conversation from the other night.
But, you know, constructive criticism and all that. It's good. I'll take constructive criticism from time to time. You get a lot more with a well, like, worded, well thought out, and somewhat kind approach, as opposed to, fuck you, I hate the way you speak when you stream. Or, fuck you, I hate your game. <laughs> that doesn't usually help. I mean, it's probably, you know, it's funny. If that's the kind of stuff that gets your rocks off. If that's what gets your meat raw, then that's great, but... You know. Doesn't mean you're not a prick. Conserve ink splat sustainably. Reach the goal before running out of ink. Oh, well, that was a lot easier than I expected. You go. trying to save as much ink as I can for later, but I don't know how later is necessarily... necessarily later. If that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. Man, VR can make me fucking tired. And not even just the physical... aspect of it. But doing VR directly before this, I noticed, like... Higher pretty quick. I think it's the way it overstimulates to a degree. You know, and my my old my old eyes and bones and brainstem feels old, man. That's fucking suck.
Jesus. Definitely got it this time. I guess I could have used a little bit more of my ink, but I did what I had to do. You can do it without firing a shot. How long have I been going for? I might, um, 351 minutes. Uh, probably should have opened that pathway. Hang on. Why don't I check out that boss up top and then I'll do the rest of the levels and get the rest of the scrolls next time? Operation Lil Judd's Judgy Judgment Praise Behavior. Analyzing praise for quality. No imperfections found. I guess I'll just go after the toe beans. Well, first of all, what's, what's over here? Seems these are instructions on how to mummify an inkling. <laughs> That's just a real squid. Maybe in olden times, inklings thought if they preserved their bodies after death, they could be revived someday. But that's, well, there's no way this is a real one stuck here, right? Of course it isn't, right? Like, the flesh is pierced. What the fuck? <laughs> Chad, I, I went to uh, a specialist about my tinnitus, by the way. And I didn't really get an answer other than there's no infection, there's no fluid, there's no buildup. And now I have to get a hearing test on some other day. Well, I don't have to, but I should. After leaping from Inkopolis Square to the world stage, Off the Hook has found their new side project. Performing vocals for a rising rock band is Damp Socks, featuring Off the Hook. Discovered online, their super talented collaborators offer an upbeat, melancholy sound that had OTH hooked. There's a level you walked by. Yeah, there's going to be a number of levels. I think I'm just going to go for that boss, and then, like I said, I'll take care of the rest of this next time. So essentially, there is some stuff that can be done, and um, the hearing test will help determine what that could be, but 
on some level, there, there, this is something I'm probably just going to have to live with and protect my ears. Like, I saw Mars Volta, and they were good, mostly. That's a whole other conversation. Maybe a little late, I, but I wore earplugs the entire time. Every concert, I'll be doing that. They were, they were really good because they played mostly their old stuff and only two new songs. And they were very good with the old songs. I don't really like that new album, but I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed the two that they did because it was only two. And they were probably even a little bit better live. But yeah, they did all of, of Cygnus. They did a good chunk of the first album. It was- it was great. But, yeah. Always earplugs. And, um, just to close out the tinnitus thing. Thank you, everybody that submitted some form of help, or your story, or whatever, because it's not a, the worst problem, but you know what? When you can't get silence, it starts to kind of suck a little bit. And, um, and then I worry, as a musician, I'm gonna lose more of my hearing. That's really why I have been upset about it. Big man. Hey! Hold it right there. Hey! This treasure isn't yours, you can't have it. Hey, I wouldn't fight you if I didn't have to, but... Hey, this is for Splatsville. The Hype Manta Storm? Yo, it's... Mario Sunshine! You're pretty good. That's awesome! That's amazing that they... You know what? It, it, it's a perfect homage to Mario Sunshine, and it also makes a lot of sense to, um, to do a fight like this. I think it's really cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, waste. Oh my god.
Not that hard. I just made it way harder on myself. You got the moves, it's true. But I've got more moves. No more kid gloves, it's big man time. So many of them. That was a flop. I really tried to. Hey, 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 Of course, big man would throw a fucking grenade. I hate to ask this, but were those moisture missiles heat seeking? I believe those are heat seeking moisture missiles. Very good. I don't get it, says other chat member. Let me help you. Heat seeking moisture missile. Captain says you crushed it, Agent 3. They also have some choice things to say about Deep Cut. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be them right now. Come in, do you copy? Gramps, we read you. Not exactly loud and clear, but we read you. What's up? Are you okay? What's happening? Where are you? Uh, finally got this dad blasted thing working again. So here's my report. I'm being held captive by someone or something calling themselves Mr. Grizz. I heard that loud and clear. Wait, Grizzco? Like slam on run? Huh. As for where I am, beats me. But my left knee is aching, something fierce, which means I'm at an altitude. Somewhere high up. Well, that's a pretty good hint. There's only one place that fits the bill, right? Well, well, your injured knee may have betrayed this location, but don't expect any workers' comp. Thank you for this, by the way. I won't underestimate the legendary leader of the Squid Beaks platoon again. I'll just go ahead and deal with you now before you become an actual inconvenience. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Hey, what's that? What do you think you're doing? Ah! Didn't sound great for Gramps. Gramps, we're coming for you. Stay, stay strong. Just as soon as we figure out how to get to wherever you are. Do you think some of this stuff we collected might come in handy? Agent 3, why don't you take a closer look at it? Might be our ticket into that rocket. Okay, so we still have some stuff here. Sorry. We still have some stuff here. We've even got some lore that we need to get here. But progress is being made. Yeah, the rocket is the point of no return. So next time I do this, I'll try to just go through all of it. Like, I'll just try to finish the, uh, Splatoon 3 single-player. This green area is really bugging me, so let's just get that last hidden thing, whatever it is.
Little buddy, where, where's the stuff? It's on the small step before the ramp. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Salmon Run does have, uh, rare weapons. I thought that was the previous cycle, though. It still does. I mean, I'm not surprised. You can join if you want. Morning, I've been playing with friends and we all deranked on this rotation. Yeah. Uh, no, I had a similar experience earlier. As you can see, I have... I have enough to get Kohozuna, but random weapons is shit. And yeah, the map I'm not a fan of either, but... Hello, Dem. I keep getting, like, two people with chargers. Yeah, no, it's definitely some stink. It's Dave. Yeah, there's a smell to this one that I don't particularly care for. I guess we're ready. All right. I saw Newt was online. I know Hacker's probably doing her own thing at the moment. But yeah, we'll, we'll get someone. I'll be honest, I'm gonna suck at this because I am really tired. But We'll give it one shot, and also chat can see the random weapon bullshit. Which can be kinda cool. It has only been cool a couple times. And low tide. Sorry, high tide. Yeah, this is- this is just stink. You know what else is stink? Glowflies. On this map. Oh man. Pushed in. Yeah, yeah, who didn't see that one coming?
Jesus. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the rare weapon... I don't have it, but it is a, a massive, massive bow. It shoots many, many arrows at once. It's still high tide. Oh no. Oh no. Good. Oh, I, I forgot to mention, when Dave was here, we um, defeated Kohozuna. That was my first time. So I do have one singular Kohozuna win. No, we didn't go to sleep no more. We, we just fed ducks and um, I took Dave to some cool places to eat food. And we played Splatoon, hung out in the city a little bit. It was, it was good. I was a uh, tour guide without being a tour guide. Just kind of, you know, what I would do anyway, which is just get good food and... Uh, Go to the Nintendo store. Oh shit, Hacker Raid. Thank you, Hacker. Hacker Raid from Salmon Run to Salmon Run. <laughs> I mean, you could join in if you want. I don't know if you're here, but uh... I'm only gonna... If you join in, I'll do one more. Otherwise, I'm, I'm just tired as fuck. Okay, hackers here. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be doing one more then. Time to get, like, mega carried. It's 
It does, yeah, this rotation does suck. Not a fan. And then you get like two or three people with a charger on this map for high tide or glow flies, and you may as well just stop. This is the rare weapon, which I actually kind of like, but it burns through ink like a motherfucker. Wow. Wow. Wow, yeah, I love High Tide. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's just so purifying, really. I mean, wow, 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 wow. I love High Tide. Yeah, just a couple shots and your ink is done. Yeah, yeah, wow, wow! Really nice, really good job there, yeah. Absolute gall. We had double roller with Goldies during high tide on this fucking map. I guess we're doing one more. Almost demoted. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm demoted further, but my rank is, is you know, still professional. It won't be after this. Please, no high tide. I only ask for no high tide. Did you see that Germa plays Splat now? I have heard. It seems like he is now enjoying it, too. He's good at it, too, huh? Hmm. I'm glad he likes it. It's a hard game to not like once you really get like into it and you start you know understanding uh what makes it fun i know these are just words that aren't leading to cohesive sentences but there are people that watch this and they're just like i don't get it do you just like jizz on the level But there's a lot more to it than that. Oh, there's a whole mess of annoying ones over here.
Thank you for saving me from the clusterfuck. Of which I then became clusterfucked. What, what's happening here? <laughs> I don't understand what happened. Oh my god. They're done? You're just done? Oh no, they're here, they're here. Alright, last one. Vinny, it hurts. I know, I know. And you know what? Blame the rotation. Hate the rotation, not the player. Or something. We're all failing. I mean, I'm sure I'm failing more than most, but... This is truly, like... This is truly... bad. Okay, now it's just gonna match us with the people that are already in here. So you just gotta give it 20 seconds to find people to match us with that are already in here, you know? Even if I fail to the highest level of failure, I really would like for this to be my last one. Like a fog. Let's see shit. Oh, grillers are awful. Yeah, the grillers are scary as fuck. They got a slosher. I can handle that. Go. 
Kind of a waste of an ultimate. I thought I would get closer. I did it. Wow, it actually got in there. Shocking. Thank you. Eggs incoming. Oh well. <laughs> Probably should have just brought like two over myself, but okay. I'm just so happy I won't get demoted any further. Okay, we got two of the uh, ultra rare quote-unquote rare weapon. It is rare, which is why two people have it. Earlier, three people had it. So yeah, it's pretty rare. Oh, kill! Dave, for Splatoon, you should really name yourself Dave Carp. Like, every other thing can be Dave Cap, but for this, it should be Dave Carp. Don't respond to that now. We're busy. And we get to fight a chorizo. Let's see if the weapon rotation here sucks. Yes. Only 10 bronze clams, are you kidding me? Who's the big meat now, motherfucker? Did we lose Dave? 
the fuck? I can't believe how, like, dog shit tonight was going- Look, I- I'm not even close to my rank again. I can't believe how dog shit tonight was going, and then we defeated Kohozuna. After the kill, also fuck you. Oh, for Dave Carp. Come on, you, you gotta admit, Dave Carp is pretty good. <laughs> Swim speed up. Uh... Yeah, I'm good with what I have. Still can't afford any other stuff. I mean, this stuff is kind of expensive. You did get the win, that's good. Did you notice the rewards are Back to the Future themed? Yeah, the hat I noticed, but I didn't realize the sunglasses were too. Amazing. We did it. We fucking did it. And I got to do it. I'm so happy I defeated a Kohozuna live on stream. The reward sucked ass, but you know what? That was awesome. Dem, Hacker, Dave, good shit. Good shit. Alright, well, everybody, thank you for watching Splatoon 3 tonight. That was a lot of fun. And next time I play this, we're going to try to finish that single player. So hopefully that'll be soon. Uh, real quick, tomorrow I'll be doing Sunday things, including something spooky related. And uh, plenty of other stuff too. So stop by if you want. Just the same place, same time, tomorrow night. And uh, spooky plus more. See ya. Gray alien eating pizza for the first time. YouTube clickbait thumbnail photograph. It's perfect.